Hey, what's up guys? It is Rutmark here. So, getting rid of some more backlog. Again, so we are now at Guardians of the Galaxy we, uh, Volume 3. So, we're catching up because this one is actually still in theaters even though it's kind of on its closing run uh, here and there. So, but we are catching up and that is very encouraging. So, <clears throat> let's go through Volume 3. Uh, what did I ultimately think about this? I think this was a very good ending to what is essentially going to be the end of this team of the Guardians. Um, <clears throat> so one thing I will say is the visuals looked amazing. Uh, I mean, you have like all sorts of locations you're going to, like they like you do in every Guardians movie. Um, again, I love the characters, the acting. The action was actually, was really good on this one. Um, let's see, I loved the... I loved the music for the most part. Uh, we'll get into that. Um, but yeah, uh, I loved the villain. I loved... There was a lot that I ended up actually loving about this film. Now, that being said, there were some things that didn't hit. Uh, I won't say they didn't hit uh, well for me, but they just didn't hit as high um, notes for me as, say, the, the first two. Because I'm not sure what I gave the first one, uh, like 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. But yeah, the second one... I'd, I was massively like 10 out of 10. <clears throat> so one of the things I'll say is, uh, again, with the music. So for the most part, uh, it did. I think it, they did a very good job, uh, whereas in the second, like the first and the second part, you know, they relied on movies from like the 60s, the 70s, um, you know, and it just felt really really uh, meshed in uh, whereas this one you know you still had those moments but you also had music where I'm just like I don't know how I feel about this being here uh, to be completely honest um, uh, another thing I was not the biggest fan on and uh, that I think was just it it seemed kind of useless. Um, Adam Warlock. Uh, I'll just say that right there. Um, yeah. Uh, he. So he's an older character from the comics. Uh, you know, 60s, 70s. Uh, he be played a big part in the Infinity Wars in those comics. Um, you know, fought with uh, Thanos. And... I think there was like some sort of crazy church or whatever. Uh, it was they, they were products of their time for sure. Uh, you know, different time. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, he was in that like far more powerful, uh, far more of a threat. Um, and in this one, he, he's kind of played off for comic relief, which... <laughs> is fine except for the fact that it felt unnecessary it just felt like he was sort of shoestringed into the movie uh as as almost an afterthought and he's just he's kind of a doofus he's kind of just uh like you see his power like he does get things started off you know and i'll get to that in spoilers um but after that, he's, he's just taken for a laugh. I mean, you don't really get the sense of how powerful he really is. And maybe, you know, uh, with this universe of the MCU, uh, he comes into that. Maybe he gets stronger. Uh, maybe whatnot. But I don't know. In this one, he just felt kind of useless and not really necessary to this film. Because even though he's the one that gets things started out, there there are multiple different ways that 
you know, that could have done with him not in it. And anytime he's on the screen, there's always someone on the screen who could, you know, for a laugh, who could play essentially the same role and him just not be there. And that's not exactly a good thing for, you know, a character. Um, especially one who you're, like, essentially starting off as a villain and... <clears throat> And then turning into, I don't even know what, I, I uh, the protagonist, I, I don't even know if I, like again, that's just how little he had to do with the story. I mean, they're clearly trying to set, because in the comics, yes, there is a point in time where he does become one of the members of one of the iterations of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, that is a thing. Um... But man, uh, the, the the switch was just not believable. It didn't feel like he had enough to do, and yeah, I don't know. He he just he just didn't sit well with me with uh, what they could have done with him as opposed to how he came out in the movie. Uh, so unfortunately, yeah, he is kind of a weak weak point on that. Um, Another thing about this uh, film, so uh, usually, like in the first two films, you know, you you kind of did have side stuff, but you know, it was it was very more like loose thread stuff that was quickly tied up, you know, and it just seemed it seemed very easily with the rest of the story. This one, this movie, kind of has a lot going on. Uh, it seems a little bit like sloppy. Like you have quite a few substantial plot points. I mean, obviously you have the main story, um, but then you have this sort of, uh, this romance subplot, or like, relationship I'll, uh, would probably be better with um, uh, Quill and Gamora, and then you have, um, you know, the stuff with uh, Rocket, you know, and this is very much like his movie. So, uh, so, I mean, that is the main plot. But then you have uh, stuff with, like, Quill and, like, wanting to hear about his family. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. It just seemed like there was a lot going on, and it didn't seem as, like, tightly woven together as... Uh, as the two other films from this franchise, you know, and like I said, the music ties into that perfectly. It's just like some of it, it was really less like, yeah, let's do this, you know, like you, you're, you're used to in a Guardians of the Galaxy film. Uh, but then there are certain songs where I'm just like, this is kind of throwing me off. Like the vibe, I get what you're trying to do with the vibe, but it's just, it's not hitting that point. And, you know, them using like 90s stuff, like, like Beastie Boys and stuff like that. Like I like the Beastie Boys, and typically I like them when they're in movies. It just seemed really, I don't know. To me, it, it seemed out of place. Um, and that wasn't by any means the only song. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> so yeah, those would I would have to say are the things I liked and d disliked most about this film. Uh, so once again, this is James Gunn final, f James Gunn's final uh, film he's working on with Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel because he is now going to, um, you know, be in charge of the DCU um, that is going to be releasing it at some point. And, of course, like he's wont to do, you know, obviously, and because he's kind of, like, he's kind of become, like, a side main character, I guess, you know, uh, his brother's in this one. And, yeah, even his wife makes an appearance in it, because uh, that's just what, what he does. Um, we'll get into that in spoilers as well. So... Ultimately, what 
Well, okay, uh, let's get into like, so the thing with this, this film was, this is a film that kind of had to bring back up the reputation of Marvel after, you know, a very disappointing phase four, um, you know, movies just not being disappointing or bad, uh, and a very weak start to phase five. And honestly, I think it did. I think it bought them time. Um, so I will say this, this, it hit on a bunch of things and it's like not as fine tuned as I felt the other two parts about, you know, I didn't ever feel myself pulled out. Like I had a good time in it. Like this movie is uh, two hours and 20 minutes long. And I didn't feel that. I, I, I was in it the whole way. I enjoyed it. Again, I don't think that this is a bad film. This is a great film. And I definitely think uh, if you want to see it in theaters, go see it in theaters, you know. But I mean, watch this movie. This movie is, you know, from all the stuff that Marvel's been putting out lately, it's one of the better ones, one that I would definitely recommend you watch. So, anyway, so uh, I was mentioning the, uh, the villain. Uh, so the main villain here is the High Evolutionary. Uh, everyone thought it was going to be uh, Adam, but nope. Uh, <laughs> He was just a comic relief. Uh, but yeah, the high evolutionary is the main baddie here, trying to create you know the perfect society and everything that that ensues. So uh, I actually really liked him. And the person who played him, uh, Chuck Woody, and I'm not even going to try his last name. Uh, <laughs> and I probably butchered his first name. I apologize. Uh, I know I know him. From somewhere but uh, that name is just a mouthful so I apologize I've been called off called on for uh, getting people's names wrong by uh, people watching my vids so uh, once again I'm trying um, oh yes and of course no one dies uh, we'll just put that out there um, you know, and I'll get more into it, but yeah, everyone sort of has their sort of end end arc, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun watching it, and I do believe a lot, like everyone got a satisfied a satisfactory conclusion in my opinion. So this movie did fairly well at the theaters uh, for a two. 250 million budget it made 838 million dollars so very big commercial success and honestly I think this is the longest mo uh, Guardians of the Galaxy they've ever done and man was did it go through some hell just to be made but uh, yeah I think they pulled it off and I thoroughly enjoyed it so what am I going to give this for my final rating uh, honestly, on this one, I think I'm going to give this an 8. Because, again, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, you know, uh, but again, it, fe it felt like it had its issues. Like, it just didn't feel as, you know, tight-knit, woven together. G issues with the, the music, obviously. And... You know, there, there there are certain things, you know, like situations, especially with the villain, that are sort of hammed up because it's a movie and you have to build tension, even though he has the ability to just destroy, yeah, something in it, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, I think it's kind of, there are a few things actually in this movie, which I, I'll probably get to in spoilers. Where it's just like, yeah, uh, I don't know how the, if that is that actually how that works, but we'll go with it. Again, I was very invested in it. 
Uh, it did hit emotional beats like Guardians are wont to do. It was fun, lighthearted, a little. A l no, yeah, it was. It was a bit. I would. I'll. I will say it was a little bit darker than maybe the first two, but it still was fun. And yeah, uh, I think that is everything for this part. So we will get into some more stuff in spoilers here in a moment. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys there. See ya. Oh, hold up. There we go. See ya.